Now let's talk about the coefficient of fluctuation of energy which is denoted by CE. So CE is the ratio of maximum fluctuation of energy and the work done per cycle. Okay. So this work done per cycle can be found out by two ways. We'll just have a look at that. So CE is delta E max upon work done per cycle. But we know what is delta E max? It is the difference of E max and E minimum upon work done per cycle. Okay. So just make a note of this. Now work done per cycle can be found out by two methods. The first method is this that work done per cycle is equal to mean torque into theta that is the angle turned by the crankshaft in one cycle. So theta this is equal to 2 pi if we talk about two stroke cycles. Okay, and this is equal to 4 pi if we talk about 4 stroke cycle. And this mean torque can be found out by using this formula 60 into P upon 2 pi n. So this 2 pi n upon 60 is omega, you get P upon omega. So this is how you can find out the mean torque. The next method to calculate the work done per cycle is this, that is 60p upon n, where p, if you are just getting confused, is the power produced per cycle, this is the power output. Okay. So again 60p upon small n, now what is this small n? This is the number of working strokes per cycle. Number of working strokes per cycle. So this is equal to n if uh, we are taking into account the two stroke cycle, okay, which is equal to the RPM. So number of working strokes per cycle is equal to the RPM for a two stroke cycle. For a two stroke cycle and this is equal to capital N by 2 for a four stroke cycle. Okay, so this is how we calculate the coefficient of fluctuation of energy. After this we look at the coefficient of fluctuation of speed.